Cooking Up a Storm is brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. All right, all that time out chasing storms this month has apparently inspired meteorologist Jacob Dickey to head back to the slow cooker for a hearty dinner. Today he is making classic Chicago-style meatballs, and we're taking it back home with uh, to Illinois with a classic and award-winning taste, right? Yeah, now I've never won an award with this, but these mm. Chicago-style meatballs, I tell you what, if you've never had one, they mm. are excellent. They really are, and I'm super excited to share this recipe with you. My family's not Italian, so I can't claim it's some Italian you know, recipe from <laughs> way back when. But you can't claim that they're but, good. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're so good. I've already okay. tried to sneak one out and gotten yelled at, but that's all right. All right. So we're going to get started here. Well, the secret we're going to use is we're actually going to use a pound of beef mm -hmm. and a pound of ground pork. Okay. So beef and pork both in there. Okay. And I'm going to use a big bowl to mix them first. And uh, so I've got that in there. And then for meatballs, we add some fillers to make the flavor come out really well. Let me ask you this about your ground beef. Like what part fat, what part lean do you like or does it matter? Uh, I went 80-20. Okay. Uh, if you want to go 73-27. Kroger sells that too. Usually you want a little more fat in there that's going to add to that flavor. And uh, when you have it in the slow cooker, a lot of that, that fat will melt out but leave the flavor behind. Okay. So you can, you, can, you can go a little higher fat on that and be just fine. All if you right. want to go a little more lean meat too, you can get away with that. But I think that extra fat is going to add it the helps. flavor. All right, so two eggs. Yep, I'm going to add two eggs to glue it all together and put it in there. Okay. And I've got a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Okay. And uh, Kroger's got a really good brand of that that I like. I got about a half a cup or so of Parmesan cheese, and maybe a little bit more because I like my cheese. Okay. Put that on in there. We've got uh, about two heaping tablespoons of garlic. I smell that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when and, I uh, walked over here, I smelled Yeah, everyone else in the studio today has been smelling it too, but yeah. I think it pays really well. Okay. And complements that flavor. Then I've got about a oh, half a cup, maybe a quarter cup of uh, diced onions. You can mince them too if you want, but okay. bigger chunks in there will add nice to the meatball. All right. And then uh, some parsley in there. All right. And uh, that's what I've got for that. So I'm going to let you set that over there. Okay. And I'll pass the eggs your way too. All I do now, this is the fun part. Yeah. Use my hands in there your and hands mix this and together. So yep. let me just tell you, when I was growing up and my grandmother would make meatloaf, and I've never really been a meatloaf lover. Mm -hmm. This is how she would mix it up. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just like this with her hands and you know. Yes, and uh, this we do it at home too. You know, it almost looks like a meatloaf, and you could probably mm -hmm. get away with cooking it as a meatloaf. But I want to just mix it till all that gets nice and mixed together. All right. Now the key is once I mix it here, I can make my meatballs out of this. I'm actually going to broil them first instead of putting them straight in the crock pot. Ah. Almost like when you sear a steak, mm -hmm. you're going to broil your meatballs. Basically, the outside. Yes, nice the outside. Okay. And then the crock pot is going to take care of the rest of it there. So I'm mixed up pretty good. I could probably do a little more, but for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and just make a couple meatballs and show okay. you here. You I made like yours to, big. <laughs> I like to make mine a little bigger. I think it's okay. more of a meal, but if you want to make them one inch, two inch for spaghetti, they'll go great with that. Mm -hmm. You know, I make a nice quarter pound meatball right there. That's, That's a probably a good one. size. You smush that out. It's like a yep. hamburger. That, you're exactly <laughs> right. We're, we're talking a good, healthy portion here. I'll make a couple of them real quick just okay. before I... I pass it along. There we go. All There's right. two. I'll fill the pan up all the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, what is this? Just cooking spray you have in the yep, pan? Yeah, just a little bit of cooking spray. Okay. Now when I broil them, it's going to be about five minutes or so, and I'll I'll flip my meatballs around mm -hmm. to make sure that they get um, on each side. Mm -hmm. They get uh, nice and brown. But again, the inside is still raw. The flavor inside is cooked in that crock pot. Gotcha. That's the key here. So right. once I do that, I'm going to set these back so we have some space to work. All right. The crock pot. I'll put my meatballs in there that are mm -hmm. broiled in there. And what I'll do is I'll make a special sauce out of them. I'm going to have some seasonings that I mix with, and then I'm going to use a small can of tomato paste okay. and a large can of crushed and diced tomatoes. Right. And that's going to be my homemade sauce that goes on with there. And you can use that, then a blend of seasonings. i got some chili powder, some parsley, and uh, some bay leaves. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, too, I could put a little more garlic or whatever I want. Do you do this in a separate container and then dump it in? No, or I just actually just pour it right on okay. top, and it works out really well. And uh, then we get the nice flavor that we've been waiting mm -hmm. for for much of the day here. I am eager to pull these out. All right. Watch the color on these here as I pull them out. They are beautiful. That comes from your special Delicious. sauce that you just put in there. Yes, and this is the one, you know, TV magic, mm -hmm. of course. Giant meatballs. Delicious. We, of course, will have the recipe for this on the Mid-Morning Facebook page, and this video will go up, too, as well. Yeah, so, so now the flavor here, the sauce, too. Look how nice that sauce goes just right on top there. I use a spoon to dish it out. It mixes really well, that tomato paste and mm -hmm. that um, sauce. Really, too... Nice thing is spaghetti would be great with this, or you could... I was just about to ask you that, because if you made them smaller, I mean, I really could see this with spaghetti, but you could do this maybe with some uh, some nice veggies on the side, or... Oh, yeah, or, I absolutely. Don't know. You know, put some broccoli or anything mm -hmm. of that sort. Spinach. Honestly, goodness, though, spinach, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. I'm going to dress them a little bit here, put a little, little bit of Parmesan A little bit more Parmesan, cheese. that can't hurt at all, can it? There we go. And uh, I like a little basil on top for some color, too. Okay. 
and uh, stick it on in. So I'll just pull it And how long, driver. again, did these stay in the crock pot? We're going to do about four to six hours, okay. low and slow. All right. And, uh, so really the only up. babysitting portion is during the broiling in the oven. Yeah, and, and really, then. really, that takes about 10, 15 minutes total mm -hmm. from mushing together to sure. making them. All and right. there you go. There's your Chicago-style Italian meatballs. I'm All right. so excited about these here. So. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. We've got Jacob's Chicago style meatballs, I mean, and I'm gonna cut one open here while the camera. Has Mama Dicky made these at home? Before? Uh, she, she's made meatballs and she's made meatloaf. So okay. we've had these before, uh, and I, I don't know why. Maybe, you're right. It's all that storm chasing we've been doing, all that severe weather. You I felt you needed some comfort craving food. Craving something. Yeah, and this is good. <laughs> and let's see if we can let them. Can you see in there? Yeah, I think it's they, cooked through and through. There you go. Yeah. The color on there. I mean, the presentation is beautiful. You're gonna wow friends and family by cooking these just as a meal alone. There's a and plate. there's very little effort involved really once you've gotten gotten them rolled up and put in the oven. Yeah, and the kids will love it too. Mush and meat together, mixing stuff up. It's mm -hmm. fun for them, so great recipe. All right, again, don't forget to go to the Mid-Morning Facebook page if you want this recipe and all the others that Jacob has made. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time.